My name is David Fox and I'm a software engineer at Adobe and I work specifically on our Behance uh, social network product. Um, so I had used Neo4j at my past company. I, I was a big fan of it. We, we brought it to production there. Uh, when I came into Adobe, I was, I was excited to try to bring it in there, uh, you know, kind of look for applicable use cases, and we happened to have one that, uh, that made a lot of sense and, and something we needed to overhaul. Uh, so the use case was our activity feed. So it's a really user-facing feature uh, on, on Behance. It's our homepage right, uh, right now. You'll see like a feed uh, of activity from people you, you follow and curated categories you follow. So kind of content from our curators, uh, they'll pop up uh, on, on your activity feed. We were using uh, Cassandra to power our activity feed feature, and it was this really like rigid and kind of bloated uh, data model. And we, we had this huge cluster, tons of uh, tons of resources going into it, human resources, uh, you know, costly servers, uh, and and then Neo4j would kind of allow us to get away from that huge uh, a huge data burden and, and the ops burden. So that's kind of why we wanted to use it. And it really delivered in, in that respect of not, uh, not have our ops team not having to worry about it anymore and having just such a smaller and manageable uh, data set. One of the most interesting things about, I guess, how our project turned out or, or the specific use case was that we were able to go from in this particular case, 48 uh, Cassandra instances to three Neo4j uh, instances. And we kind of going into the project, we weren't sure if that was going to be possible. On the most recent project, I kind of waited a little while to actually build a prototype. Uh, and then I realized how easy it was to prototype a Neo4j. I probably should have done that a little earlier and kind of got something visual that I was able to present like to the dev team. Uh, I ended up doing that, but it was just a little later probably than it, than it could have been. So when I when I started using uh, Neo4j almost like five years ago, uh, the community was definitely a lot smaller and, and, and it's grown a lot. And I think a lot of the compelling use cases uh, you see now, we'll continue to see that, a lot of machine learning recommendation stuff. Uh, and, and something I've always kind of been interested in uh, that they've sort of, I feel like I've been working on for a while and I think it's gonna progress there is uh, partitioning kind of graphs uh, off of one machine possibly. That, that's kind of been a limitation for a long time, although it, re it rarely comes into play, but I think you get into a whole nother kind of stratosphere of data if you're able to uh, partition uh, a graph database, which is done by some software, but then you, you get slower querying. Uh, but I know it's been something they've been researching for a long time, so I'm curious where, where that kind of leads.